hell? You got on a lion mask? What the hell you got on this lion mask for? Rawr! 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 Dang it! Rawr! <laughs> oh! She taught Rodda with that mask on! <laughs> God! Dog, son! <laughs> oh, man. Good grief. I tell you, boy. This fight finna be good. Ain't neither one of these two intimidated. All right, LDBC, this is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Shelton Harrison Boxing and MMA Show Live. Okay, guys, this is a quick video of my final thoughts, okay? All right, you look at this. Neither one of these two women are afraid of each other. They're not, okay? They're not afraid. Both of these two women are ready to get it on. I'm not a Ronda Rousey fan, but I'm going to give her some props, okay? Ronda looks to be in phenomenal shape. I mean, she looks great, okay? Fitness, uh, shape-wise, she's shredded, she's ripped. Ronda Rousey is in phenomenal shape. Um, people are comparing the bodies of Amanda Nunes and Ronda Rousey, which, you know, okay, now just because you're shredded and ripped, that doesn't mean you're fit, okay? It, it just doesn't. Ronda may be shredded and ripped, but, you know, where's her cardio at? Because she's carrying a lot of extra muscle mass that I've normally seen her carry, and I start really thinking about, okay, where the cardio, okay? That's, that's my whole thing, okay? I'm looking, you know, maybe her cardio could be affected. Uh, on the other hand, Amanda Nunez is not shredded or ripped. However, her body is indicative of somebody who has been doing a lot of cardio work. And I can tell that Amanda Nunez has been working on the stamina issue that plagues her in a lot of her fights. And so I think that Amanda is going to have a lot more stamina to go fight. I think Amanda's going to be ready, okay? I think she is, okay? I hope I'm right. And I hope I called this one right about Amanda Stamina. Okay, um, let's go ahead and give the keys to victory, okay? Let's give the keys to victory. All right, for the challenger, Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey is going to, she can't, and I know people are going to say, well, Coach, why? Ronda probably should not look to take Amanda Nunes down, like, immediately, okay? See, when Amanda Nunes is fresh, you know, when she first starts to fight, she's very fresh. She, she's difficult to deal with in a clinch, a takedown, and on the ground, she's not going to be as easy to submit as some of Ronda's future opponents, uh, past opponents. She, she's not going to be as easy to submit earlier in the fight. She's not. That's just the way that is. Ronda is going to have to try to wear Amanda Nunes down for about maybe two to three rounds, just wear her down. Now, she's not going to be able to do that standing, okay? Ronda Rousey would be a fool to literally get in a stand-up battle with Amanda Nunes because she's going to go to sleep if that's what she does. She can't. She cannot get into a stand-up battle with Amanda Nunes. It, it's just not going to work for her, okay? Um, Ronda is going to have to, she's going to have to clinch, but she's going to have to deliver a lot of knees, and Amanda Nunes is very susceptible to elbows in the clinch. She just is, okay? Um, and I don't know why, and I hope that's something that they improved in her training camp. I hope they did. Because, now, Ronda is a big, strong girl. If Ronda delivers an elbow, now, she can knock out Amanda Nunes with an elbow. Ronda is very strong. And people, you know, just because she got knocked out by Holly Holm, okay, she got knocked out by another strong woman, okay? Ronda Rousey is very physically strong, okay? And an elbow from Ronda done properly could definitely knock Amanda out. But she's going to have to find a way to wear Amanda down. See, just trying to throw Amanda down and submit Amanda, that, that, that doesn't work. And she's not going to be <laughs> submitted that early in the fight. Now, I could be wrong. And if I am wrong, you know I'm going to get on here and call it. But that's how I see it, okay? Uh, for Amanda Nunes to win this fight, okay? For her to win the fight, she's going to have to also wear Ronda down. Because, see, going in and trying to really just attack Ronda, like with a bunch of punches, that's not going to work. Because Ronda is going to time your punches. Now, that's one thing I will say that Ronda is good at. She's good at timing punches, and she's very good at slipping up under the punches and actually taking down her opponent. She's good at that. Amanda's going to have to avoid that. She's going to have to play the distance game, and she's going to have to pick spots. She's going to have to pick spots. She's going to have to catch Ronda coming in. She's going to have to catch Ronda. You know, she's going to step to the side. She's got to be able to counter Ronda's movements. She's going to have to do it. Um, trying to go for a knockout early against Ronda Rousey, that, that's, not, that's not advisable. Because Ronda, at any moment, can take her down and put an armbar submission on you from any position. Ronda has gotten that armbar submission down from so many different angles. Okay, that's the beauty of what Ronda Rousey can do in the octagon. Amanda Nunes has better footwork. Her footwork is better than Ronda. 
okay? Amanda is going to have to use that footwork to keep Ronda Rousey on the outside just for a small time, okay? See, I don't care who you are. If you're worn down enough and if you're tired, your, your ground skills, your grappling skills, your takedown skills, they're not going to be as effective as they are when you're, when, when you're not tired, okay? And Amanda Nunes, by round two, if she can wear Ronda down for two straight rounds, okay? Ronda Rousey should be ready to go by round two, okay? But Amanda can't get impatient. And I've seen in fights where Amanda gets very impatient. Ronda, believe it or not, is a very patient fighter. She's very patient. And what she does is she waits for these strikers to commit and make mistakes. Or she'll wait for these strikers to just go up, come after her. That's what she wants. Because when they come after her, she's thinking, okay, I'm going to take you down. Amanda's got to be very patient with Ronda. And she's got to catch Ronda with a lot of leg kicks, okay? I, that would be my first line of attack if I'm dealing with Ronda Rousey. Ronda is going to come in, okay? She doesn't have great foot movement. Her foot movement is just not great, okay? And I'll put it out there and say that. It's not. And I can show you video that, that just proved to, that her footwork isn't that good. Amanda's going to have to learn how to sidestep Ronda Rousey. She's going to have to counter Ronda after taking a step. She's going to have to take a step back and set traps Ronda, while Ronda coming in. Because Ronda, I think Ronda's going to try to just bull rush her way in. That's when Amanda Nunes needs to take a step back. And she needs to have a very stiff uppercut waiting on Ronda Rousey if she tries that. Because Ronda has this bad habit of ducking her head when she comes in. When she bull rushes, that's not advisable against a striker like Amanda Nunes. It's just not. And also, too, Amanda is accurate. But she's going to have to be very patient. If she is not patient and she gets too overzealous, then that's going to be advantage Rousey, okay? Um, so those are my keys to victory for both fighters, okay? It's going to be a good fight. It's going down. This is going to be a war, okay? This fight is not going to be over quickly. These two women are going to bring it, and that's just how it is. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. What are you waiting on? Subscribe. I'm done.